overflows. Discover your consciousness, love will radiate. The meeting of two consciousness merging into each other brings the greatest orgasm the universe allows. That meeting, that merger, that dissolution of two consciousness is love. Love is taste and the fragrance of oneness. Love needs immense consciousness. Love is a meeting of two souls and lust is the meeting of two bodies. Lust is animalistic, love is divine. But unless you know that you are soul, you cannot understand what love is. I cannot tell you what love is, but I can tell you how to discover, how to find your soul. That is my whole work to help you to meditate, to help you to become more aware, alert, so that slowly and slowly you can start seeing that you are not just the body that you are not just even the mind, that there is something else hidden behind the body and the mind, which is your real life. And once you become aware of your real life, your, your being, you will know that the joy of being is so overflowing that one wants to share it with someone who is receptive, someone who is available, someone who is open, with someone who is ready to open his heart. Discover your consciousness and you will find what love is. It is an experience and there is no way to say anything about it. It is a realization. More than that, which I have said, the meeting of two consciousness merging into one another brings the greatest orgasm the existence ever allows. But before that, you have to move away from the body and the mind and the heart and reach to the very center of your being. Once you have reached to the center of your being, you will find love radiating from you. It is not something to be done by you. It will be just as if the sun has risen and the flowers have opened and the air has become filled with the fragrance of so many flowers blossomed. Love is the byproduct of meditation. Only meditators know what love is. Love basically is a state of being. The real thing is not relationship, but a state. One is not in love, but one is love. Whatever I talk about love, remember, I am talking about the state of love, not love as you know. Yes, relationship is perfectly good, but the relationship is going to be false if you have not attained the state of love. If love has not blossomed, the reservoir of love, the spring of love has not opened in you, Relationship can be the way to reach the core of love. Yes, indeed. Relationship, the way you relate, can be the way to reach to the very root of love. And if it does not happen, then the relationship is pretension and dangerous one. Knowing the art of relating, you can reach to the palace of love. However, 
love basically is a state of being one is not in love instead one is in love remember love arises not by falling in love with somebody love arises by going in not by falling but by rising soaring upward higher than you but in relationship love is not higher than you what you know as love it is a kind of surpassing a man is love when his being is silent absolutely silent love is the song of silence a buddha is love a jesus is love not in love with a particular person but simply love it radiates like the fragrance of a flower or the rays the sunlight that radiates from the sun their very climate is love it is not addressed to anyone in particular it is spreading in all directions whosoever comes close to a buddha will feel love overflowing towards him or her and will be showered by it will be bathed in it and it is unconditionally so he does make any condition for it love makes no condition no if no but love never says fulfill these requirements then i will love you but you your so called con- understanding of love is based on ifs and buts and conditions but in the name of love you make conditions thus destroy the sanctity of love it and its delicateness love is like breathing when it happens you simply love it does not matter who comes close to you the sinner or the saint man or a woman whosoever comes close to you starts feeling the vibes of love flowing towards the person and he rejoices every moment love is unconditional giving unconditional sharing but only those are capable of giving who have and you want to give something that you do not have unless you have explored love you are embodiment of love you cannot give it you will give counterfeit or something else in the name of love that is the cause of many problems that you face in love one of the most mysterious thing about man is that he goes on giving things which he does not have you go on giving love but you do not have it in the first place and you go on asking for love from others who do not have it either beggars begging from beggars that is your understanding of love love first to happen in the deepest core of your being it is the quality of your being alone happily alone joyously alone it is the quality of being a no mind of being silent countless consciousness is the space the contrast in which love arises in you 
countless consciousnesses creates the space, the context in which love arises in you. You have come to a point where man is to change totally or will have to die. The new man can only be born with a new heart, a new understanding, with a new soul, and the flavor of that soul will be love, and the poetry of that heart will be love. A society that lives lovelessly is competitive, ambitious, obsessed with misery, power and prestige. A society that lives without love, lives without beliefs, beliefs divide people. And all divisions, all divisions breed war. You see around us what is happening. A society that lives without love, lives a very lustless existence. A society that lives without love, lives a lust, a lustless existence, because without love there can be no splendor of life, no significance. Without love no song arises in the heart of man. We have come to a point, or we are coming to this point, approaching in every way, by the end of the century, man will have to choose either total destruction or revolution. A revolution is not political, not social. Instead, it is the revolution of the heart. A turning point comes closer every day. You have to be prepared for it. And to me, Love is nothing but the birth of creativity in you. By love I mean an overflowing heart. Love to me is not only a relationship. The relationship that we call love is a far away, distant echo of the real thing. The real thing is not relationship. Instead, I state one is not in love, but one is love. Whenever I talk about love, remember this, I am talking about the state of love. Yes, relationship is perfectly good, but relationship is going to be false if you have not attained this state of love. It is very important. And when you face problems in love, your spouse leaves you, it is because you have considered something else love, not the real thing. You have not attained to the state of the being. Enough for now.